So today, just a very quick video to show you how you can change your app icons on your iPad Pro or any other iPad and your iPhone. So you can create your own look, your own custom home screen. Let's ramble. Hold up, face go up when I pull up. They all on me like a one thing. Hey, what's up guys? It's great to see you all again. And if you're new here, I'm Patrick, and this is why I ramble about tech and other stuff. All right, so let's make this a quick video. You probably clicked on it because you wanna know how to change your app icons. So I'm not gonna waste your time today with a very long intro. I hate it when how-to videos do that, so let's not. So to be able to change your app icons, First, you will need to make sure you have iOS 14 or iPadOS 14 installed because this won't work on any of the previous versions. To do this, go to Settings, General, and you will find your software version. If for whatever reason it hasn't been updated, just go back to General and tap Software Update. All right, once that's done, you're gonna wanna send your current apps, the ones that you're looking to replace, to the app library because you're not technically replacing the app icons on those apps which are creating shortcuts to those apps, to which you can add icons. But don't worry about that for now, we'll get to that later. You can also delete entire pages just by long pressing any app until it goes into wiggle mode, tap the dots at the bottom, and now you can uncheck the pages you wanna get rid of. This is just so they won't show up anymore. You don't really need those pages anymore anyway, since we now have the organized app library. Again, don't worry because you're not in fact deleting any pages, you're simply unchecking them so they become invisible. You can recheck it at any time if for whatever reason you miss your pages and you want them back. All right, so once you have a clean slate, it's time to place your own icons. But before we do that, it makes sense of course to pick a new wallpaper that matches the icons you're planning to use. If you don't have any icons yet and you're looking for some super clean, super crispy ones, please allow me to insert a shameless plug right here because I developed three sets of icon packs. All three have a minimal design because that's just the aesthetic I like. And when I designed these, I kind of went with what I wanted on my own device. So I created one super minimal pack, a pack that matches my brand and a very tranquil pack with these nice earthy tones because I just love the Zen kind of feeling they give off. Currently, I'm rocking the black, white and blue ones because that's kind of like my brand. I kept them nice and cheap. I'm not trying to get rich off icon packs. It's just a nice way to help support the channel if you happen to share my taste in icons. All right, end of shameless plug. Let's get to work. So starting with the wallpapers, you can find so many cool ones. Just go to any free photo website like Unsplash or just have a browse on Pinterest. There's something for everyone. I'm using two dark ones to go with my theme, one for my iPad Pro and one for my iPhone. Now I've received a lot of comments in other videos, especially on the iPhone wallpaper. I did not design that. So unfortunately I cannot take credit for it, but I can link to it in the video description, which I will do so you can go find it and download it if you like it too. It was uploaded by Rhonda Gilmore. I don't know if she's the designer, but there you go. So once you find the wallpaper you like, just download it and go to your camera roll and then hit share and set it as wallpaper. Now to change the actual app icons, you go to shortcuts because remember, you're not really changing the app icon, you're creating a shortcut with a custom icon. I'm gonna show you how to do it using my iPhone because I already changed the icons on my iPad Pro to give you an idea of what the final result can look like. But the method on the iPhone is exactly the same as on the iPad. All right, so go ahead and open shortcuts. And once you're in there, tap scripting. And here at the top, you will see open app. Tap on that. And then you will see choose. This is where you determine which app should be opened by your shortcut. Let's pick Notion as an example because people like Notion. And then tap the three dots in the top right corner, create a name for the shortcut. And of course, it makes a lot of sense to just call it Notion since it will replace your actual Notion app on the home screen. Then don't tap on the little icon on the left hand side. You can change it there, but it doesn't have the option to choose images. What you wanna do is hit add to home screen. And this is where the magic happens because now when you tap on the icon, it will let you choose photos and files and you probably downloaded your icons onto your camera roll or your files. Mine are in files because I downloaded the entire folder of icons at once instead of searching for individual app icons. All right, so let's find the one for Notion. There it is. And then just tap add. You don't need to bother resizing or cropping or anything like that since this is from my ready-made pack, which doesn't require any more work. They're already perfectly sized. 
and bam, it is now on your home screen and you can drag it wherever you want. I use Notion a lot, so I'll put it on my home screen. So I'll remove the original Notion app into the apps library and then replace it with the shortcut and that's it. Repeat those steps for all the apps you wanna have at hand and create your beautiful custom home screen. If you like mine, there's a link in the description and if you don't, we can still be friends. Oh, and by the way, you can of course also change your widgets. There's a really great app for that called Flex Widgets, which I actually like better than Widgetsmith, which is the other well-known app. I talked about this app in another video, which I will link up here, just in case you wanna go look for it and customize your own widgets as well. Guys, if the video was useful to you, please give it one of these. It really does help the channel a great deal. Feel free to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.